Here on the Northern California coast, researchers are using drones to map and monitor some of its last remaining kelp forests. In less than a decade, this region has lost more than 90% of its kelp forests, decimating marine species that live in these important ecosystems. The state was forced to close its $44 million red abalone fishery, hurting fishermen and tourism. We saw a perfect storm of major stressors uh, that really decimated our bull kelp forest. What's behind the kelp crisis? Scientists say an explosion of purple sea urchins have devoured bull kelp at an unprecedented rate. Urchin populations spiked after a deadly disease wiped out sea stars, the urchin's main predator and a marine heat wave made it harder for the kelp to recover. Absolutely, we're going to see climate change as a big driver of changes in kelp forest as we move forward. And we are already seeing the new development of a marine heat wave off our coast. The problem has expanded beyond California. Oregon researchers are now reporting a 10,000% increase in purple urchins over the past five years. Vast areas of the Pacific coast have turned into urchin barrens, with purple urchins blanketing seabeds where towering bull kelp once grew. These very large numbers, millions of new urchins that are all looking for food and grazing are having uh, ecological consequences, including the demise of seaweeds and kelp. This California Marine Lab is running an unusual project aimed at restoring kelp forests by turning these destructive ocean pests into a seafood delicacy. Sea Urchin Row, also known as UNI. Urchinomics is about turning an environmental problem into an ecological, social, and economic opportunity. Uh, what we do is we take uh, the overgrazing sea urchins that are destroying the kelp forests, we pluck them up, and we ranch them and turn them into premium seafood products like UNI. These urchins contain little roe and divers harvest them from the ocean. They're brought here to be fattened up for several weeks until they're healthy enough to eat. Urchinomics, a company that has launched similar projects in Japan and Canada, wants to sell the restored urchins to seafood markets and restaurants. Not only will we be providing this new seafood, but we'll also be helping to restore the kelp forest at the same time. So-called urchin ranching is just one possible solution to this coastal crisis, but many more are needed to restore kelp forests and the marine life that depend on them. Terry Che, Associated Press, Elk, California.